comes monorail green. Welcome everybody to the YouTube channel. This is Marky Park and today is Wednesday, uh, February the 7th. We are at the Epcot parking lot today. We are headed in for the Festival of the Arts. Um, and we are approaching uh, the final couple of weeks of the festival. So we actually haven't been here to the festival in a, in a, in a while. So come along with us today as we uh, try some new cuisine possibly. And uh, we're also on a mission to get the new annual pass holder magnet, which is over at the creation shop here at Epcot. All right, so just walk by Hey Hey parking lot spot here going into Epcot. We see Spaceship Earth here in the distance. See the monorail line over here. So the reason why I showed the Hey Hey parking lot sign is because we're going to go into a creation shop today, see if we can find the new annual pass holder magnet, which is Hey Hey this month. And we're in Epcot. Sign for the Festival of the Arts. Spaceship Earth. You got your uh, guide maps and your festival passports here. I have one of the passports already. You see figments on the cover of all of these here. Okay, we are in the line over here at the creation shop and then you see the sign over here for you know, pass holder magnet distribution. And there's a sign here for creation shop. So it's not a huge line, so we should be in here in just a minute to get our magnets. And there's the magnet. Hey, hey. Pretty cool. Just kind of looking at some of the new merchandise here at creation shop. We got this really cute uh, mini sweater here and a matching hat with Mickey. Take a look and see how much these are. Yeah, the hat's $29.99. And uh, sweatshirt's $59.99. Looks like you got some matching uh, sweats. And that's $49.99. Um, we've got some vacation wear here that's really cute. The lounge fly. I like this best vacation ever. I love Hawaiian shirts. This is a nice one here. We also saw this shirt down here that's got the Mickey ear balloon. And we noticed that there's a hidden Mickey item inside. Let's see if you can see it. It's the Sword in the Stone from the carousel and then the back of the shirt playing the part Let's see how much this one is and this one's $34.99 so with the annual pass you get 20% discounts at all the like uh, merchandise shops in Walt Disney World so not too bad it's probably the best discount with the annual pass is the, uh, the merchandise all right, so we're gonna go to the land here first. You see the, the building here. We're gonna have lunch inside here, I think at the Garden Grill. It's very calm and peaceful over here. A lot of water. Very pretty. So we are in uh, the land building here. Uh, the Garden Grill restaurant actually is a uh, table service, so I was wrong. 
we're not going to uh, Garden Grill. It's called uh, Sunshine Seasons. So you see the seating area down here for that. And then Living with the Land is over on this side over here. And then on the opposite side over there is Soren. And here's the inside of the, the land here from another angle. There's the sign for Sunshine Seas and uh, the restaurants right down below. Right. So one of the stations here is desserts here, which I probably won't be ordering anything from. And your sweets. So you got, uh, it's like a roast beef sandwich, beer, Birria tacos, Mediterranean vegetable sandwich, uh, pizza rolls, that sounds interesting. So we got some, uh, looks like Asian cuisine over here, stir fried chicken, Mongolian beef, stir fried shrimp, vegetable korma, all that sounds pretty good. And over here you got oak grilled rotisserie chicken and oak grilled salmon. And a kids menu as well. Okay, so I went with the chicken stir fry and I got to choose white or fried rice. I got the fried rice. So it smells delicious. Let's try, try a bite of rice first. It's pretty good. It's a vegetable fried rice, so it's got like carrots and peas. Maybe some onions in there too. That's really good. I'll try some of the chicken. I can smell the pineapple and it before I even took a bite. Wow. This is fantastic. I'm a huge pineapple fan. And this has got, it looks like maybe even mango pieces in here. Honestly, I think this is the best food I've eaten at the parks since we moved here. This is a five out of five. This is this is fantastic. So highly recommend you come to Epcot, try a, a lunch maybe at uh, the sun, sun, Sunshine Seasons. There was like literally no wait to pick up the food, although it, it is pretty busy in, in the building. But the restaurant's not. Uh, I mean, it's like a cafeteria style, kind of like at the, the value resorts, like the Pop Century and All Star Resorts. That's kind of how it's set up. So it's very easy, just pick the line where the food is that you want and they serve it to you right there. And this is hot and fresh, it's, it's delicious. Okay, so my wife actually got the roast beef sandwich and she didn't want to eat the roast beef. So she gave it to me to, to taste and uh, you, honestly, you can't really go wrong, I think, with anything you order at the Sunshine Seasons. This uh, roast beef is, is perfect. Finish the rest of this, too. And she's handing me the pasta salad it came with here, too. Um, I took a bite of this earlier, too. Perfect. It, the food here is just, it's just perfect. Um... We've, we've eaten here before. It's been a long time. Don't honestly remember what we eat. We were the kids, I think, when we ate here last. So it's been several years. But in my opinion, so far, this is probably the best restaurant here that I've eaten at at Epcot.
And we've eaten at a few. We ate at the one at the Seas a couple years ago. I think I had some really good salmon there. Um, obviously festival foods around the park. Um, we haven't been to Space 220 yet. I think we'll eventually we'll maybe go over to the lounge and try that one, but man, this food here is fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna go into living with the land. Five minute wait, which means no wait. Garden Grill restaurant. Providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. has created a very different but no less beautiful living system and while this arid landscape may seem lifeless it is very much alive the plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually <coughs> penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most 
profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. Our small fish farm produces 
another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these Sign efforts there is to produce behind higher the yielding and tour. better quality plants. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quality and quality of foods that we all rely on. I am Dr. Nigel Channing, Chairman of the United Nations Institute. Hello! On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh! Can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, and I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. <sighs> taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No. I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing. 
imitating your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. What? This is odd. Um, hello? Who is this? It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. So, as you can plainly 
you see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! Wet. And Monorail Red is coming by. Look at that. So we're across from the Image Works building here, and you can see there's a mural over on the other side here that they're painting right now. And over to the right, there's the paint distribution tent right here. I think they were doing four of these murals during the Festival of the Arts. And looks like they're almost done with this one here. See, I think Epcot right there in the middle. I mean, Spaceship Earth. So we're here at the Tangerine Cafe, and I ordered uh, the strawberry the lime cider here. It's from Sweden. You can take a look there at the receipt. The, the large size is a 12 ounce. It's for, uh, 12 ounces for 9.75. So this is what I got, and uh, it smells it smells fantastic. The bubbles tickle on my nose. This is probably the best hard cider I've had in the park so far. I've had a couple of good ones, but strawberry and lime is a really good combination. And it's uh, probably exclusive to this park because it's from Sweden. I don't think you're going to be able to find it anywhere else here in Central Florida. So uh, this has got to be five stars. Definitely give it five stars. Thank <laughs> you.